While League of Legends is known to be tough on the hands, these five champs are notorious for tearing up your tendons. I asked Reddit which champs gave them the most pain, and these champs were overwhelmingly mentioned. Starting in with number 5 is Hecarim, with his Q, Rampage. The main pain area reported was left pinky and wrist. Hecarim players often spam this ability to maximize damage, especially in the jungle. This repetitive action can lead to strain injuries, particularly affecting the pinky, assuming you have your pinky on Q, that is. The community is pretty split on League of Legends hand placement, with more advanced players noting that they rest their pinky on tab and keep their ring finger on Q, which can help to prevent pain as the muscles responsible for flexion of the ring finger are larger than that of the pinky. This discrepancy will apply to any of the other champions on this list that require ability spamming. Number 4 on our list is Cassiopeia, with her E, Twin Fang. The main pain area reported was left index finger, wrist, and forearm. Cassiopeia's E is designed to be spammed rapidly, which depending on how you place your fingers on Q, W, E, and R, can be a nightmare for the extensor muscles of the left, middle, or index finger, wrist, and even your forearm. The need to continually press the key in quick succession leads to muscle fatigue and discomfort over time. Oftentimes, with key presses on the keyboard, the extensor muscles fatigue out quicker than the flexor muscles. This is due to the fact that there are two flexor muscle tendons per finger and only one extensor muscle. When we press down a key, the flexors as well as the extensors contract together to press the key. At number 3 we have Callista in her passive, Martial Poise. The main pain area reported was right middle, index finger, and wrist. Callista's passive requires precise and continuous repositioning movement combined with attacks, leading to high actions per minute. This puts a lot of strain on your mouse wrist and fingers as you are constantly clicking and moving. It's a tough life being a Callista main. Coming in at number 2 we have Zeri with her Q, Burst Fire. The main pain area reported was left pinky and the right wrist. This ability functions similarly to a basic attack, meaning it's used very frequently. Players mentioned that the constant spamming and wrist movement caused strain on not just the fingers and wrist, but also in the entire hand. If you are a Zeri main, you 100% want to consider some wrist extension exercises. I was working in the LCS when this champ was released, and pinky and ring finger pain was definitely the ADC's number one complaint. And finally, coming in at number one is Evelyn, specifically her Q, Hate Spike. The main pain area reported was left pinky. Players overwhelmingly reported that this ability causes significant pain in the pinky and left hand. Evelyn's Q is a spammable skill, and when you're in the heat of the moment, dodging skill shots and dishing out damage, your pinky is constantly pressing that key. Over time, this can lead to repetitive strain injuries. And as a special inclusion, we have Garen being one of the worst offenders, with the primary reported pain area of the face. According to one Redditor, I main Garen top, and I feel pain in my face when I'm rolling it across the keyboard. Usually it starts to get intolerable around the 4-5 to five game mark, but sometimes the drool shorts out my keyboard first, which means I can take a break. Before we wrap up, let's give a shout out to some honorable mentions that didn't quite make the top 5, but still caused their fair share of pain. Scion's Q, Decimating Smash. Holding down this key can strain the pinky if pressed with unnecessary force. And everyone knows that the harder you press Scion's Q, the more damage it does. Karthus's Q, Lay Waste. Frequent spamming leads to finger fatigue, especially in the jungle. Riven's Q, Broken Wings. Quick execution and animation cancelling, demanding high actions per minute, straining wrist and fingers. Ezreal's Q, Mystic Shot. Frequent skill shots and mouse movements, causing wrist and forearm strain. Zax W, Unstable Matter, a spammable ability in fights and wall clearing in the jungle. Also, the constant repositioning due to absorbing globules causes left and right finger strain. Nidalee's high action per minute playstyle in both forms leads to wrist strain from constant movements. Jace's combo-oriented kit requires frequent use of abilities, causing pinky and forearm strain. Draven's catching axes demands constant attention and quick reflexes, leading to wrist and finger strain. Yasuo's fast-paced playstyle with frequent Q and E use leads to wrist pain. Ryze's rapid spellcasting can cause repetitive strain injuries, particularly affecting the pinky and left hand. 
Oriana's constant repositioning of her ball and spamming abilities leads to wrist strain during prolonged play. Up there. In all seriousness, due to the overabundance of injuries associated with spamming Q or clicking to move, the finger extension muscles are often the most affected. Muscles have a certain amount of HP, or endurance, which allows them to perform repeated movements. When this HP reaches zero, we get tight or irritated tendons. Stretching your wrist extensors is a great way to restore HP, and using a finger extension band to build endurance is a great way to increase your max HP. If you want to learn the best ways to HP max your wrist and hand muscles, check out the free guides linked below. And there you have it, the top 5 League of Legends champions that hurt players the most, plus a few honorable mentions. If you're feeling this strain, remember to take breaks, stretch, strengthen, and maybe even rebind some keys to make things a bit easier on your hands. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the main reason a lot of players end up shifting their fingers over one key to rest their index finger on E and their pinky on tab is to reduce the strain on their pinky from spamming Q. Let me know in the comments which champion causes you the most pain and how you cope with it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more healthy gaming content. If you thought this was interesting, check out my other video on the top 5 worst injuries throughout gaming history.